probably know most of you, but there are a couple of names or faces that I don't recognize. My name is Janessa, and I have been loving Young Living for five plus years now. Um, I called myself a closet oiler for about nine months before our life had changed so much that I couldn't keep it to myself anymore. Um, we are currently a family of five living in Costa Rica, and we've been here for six months and have a couple more months to go before we go on to our next adventure. So um, I have been a little out of the loop when it comes to sharing and uh, I guess just teaching. I mean, I don't really feel like a teacher, but I kind of am a teacher because I've homeschooled my kids from the beginning. And so I do kind of play that role too. But what I'm doing tonight is really just sharing with you the experience that I've had with this category, which in my opinion, does not get enough exposure. <laughs> it seems like we talk about it in the month of February, but the truth is, is that loving relationships, um, they require intimacy and intimacy can be everything from doing a table puzzle together um, to serious, uh, heavy breathing romance and hitting the sheets hardcore. I mean, it really is from one thing to the other. Um, but the truth is, is that we have to make it a priority. And for some of us who've been married for a really long time or have been married for a decade or so and just have a mess of kids um, or a new baby, I love that I see some mamas with new babies on the screen. I see some mamas with kids who are expecting a new baby, and I see some hopeful mamas on the screen um, who are hoping to conceive again. And this is the right place because not only do you need proper hormone function, but you also need to not make the time in the bedroom a job. It needs to be enjoyable. And so um, that's when enters in Lucy Libido. And so everything that, oh no, can you see it? Yeah, well, good stuff. Okay, so that is where she comes into play. Lucy Libido says there's an oil for that. And I'm not sure exactly how it happened, but I will tell you, I'm gonna share just a little bit about my story and then we're gonna get into the, I think Steph's gonna share hers, and then we're gonna get into the meats, the meat and potatoes of this um, talk. Um, I remember sitting at a table with a new oiler who was, on my team, but she also had um, friends that were on a different team. And she said something about putting purification and Melrose together to be like a slamming orgasm. We're gonna say that word here. So I hope I don't offend anybody. <laughs> if you have kids, kids who will repeat things, um, you might wanna send them to the other room because we are gonna talk about orgasms and we are gonna talk about um, we're going to talk about things, uh, can be shy. Um, and I remember saying, oh, I've had two babies. I need those again. I need to get going in that department. My poor husband. And I knew that something wasn't right in the bedroom. Um, and I knew I needed help because I knew that intimacy was such a key part of this. And it wasn't too long after that, that I discovered an oil called sensation. Raise your hand if you know about this oil. Oh no, this, do you know about this oil? Thanks, Steph. Yeah, mm -mm -mm. All right, so sensation changed my world, okay? In the midst of adding sensation to our bedroom time, it actually increased our foreplay time because putting the oils and I will, um, Steph, do we have the ability to like share photographs on the chat screen? I don't think I can do photos in the chat screen. We could share the screen if you have them pulled up or I could get them. What are you looking for? Well, I like to show that visual of where we apply the oils for the thigh roller because we have some great thigh roller recipes that I'm going to share later. And there's a very specific spot on your thighs that is great, great, great for um, when you're gearing up and getting ready to go and when you're creating that intimacy for foreplay. That's in, where you want to put them. Is it in that group? Is it one of her slides? 
Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. I'll work on that while you're talking and then I can share okay. my screen when you're ready. Okay, perfect. Okay. Um, so long story short, we were introduced to Lucy Libido. I got put into some group and I'm like, oh, Steph, I don't know how I got into this group. But this is some good stuff. And then Lucy Libido has evolved over the last five years and she is changing uh, marriages all around the world with Young Living Essential Oils. The only thing is, is she is not necessarily a she. She's the face of Lucy Libido, but it's a group of women who decided to say, we're, we need help in the bedroom and we're going to try these things. And so they've compiled everything in a book um, for us to use. And so tonight I'm just going to give you, Steph and I are just going to give you some little nuggets, but I really do encourage you. The book should be on Amazon. It's probably not more than $11. Um, I do not make any money off of telling you about the book. So you don't need a link or anything. Just go to your Amazon prime and order the book and it's juicy and it has all of the recipes that you will need, but we will certainly share some with you as well without you having to buy the book. So, um, anyways, really great sex. Um, my orgasms went from getting them again to sometimes having two to sometimes, um, them lasting for much longer than I have ever experienced in my entire life. Um, which was a good thing. And uh, I, I owe it all to not only using my oils in the bedroom, but I also owe it to finding hormonal balance, right? So we're going to talk about that tonight too a little bit. That's a whole different class. But I think it's important that we understand the connection between the two. It's the concept of taming the crazies during the day so that you can have an open mind and be um, be ready to receive love and to, to give love and to have fun and let your inhibitions go away. You're not going to be able to let your inhibitions go away if you are so busy stressing out about life and everything under the sun and worrying worrying too much. So, um, that I, I guess I want to leave it there for my story. Uh, I wanted to share one small other little piece of it. So we have a lot of testimonies. <laughs> um, but when you're using essential oils that you're drawn to and that you love and are specifically for emotional balance and romance, um, I will tell you that you are opening yourself up to emotional release during your orgasm. And that sounds crazy, but it has happened to me more than one time. And it's wonderful. And I feel like it's exactly the way that making love to your spouse is supposed to be. It's supposed to be um, free and you're supposed to feel beautiful and you're supposed to feel um, released. I mean, if my husband starts to get too grumpy, I'm like, I'll meet you in the boom, boom room. As soon as the kids go to bed, because <laughs> we have a family sleep room. So we have to go somewhere else for that. But, um, it, it we have to, um, we have to be able to release that. And so using a lot of essential oils, making love with your spouse, and then, and having an emotional release, you have not had a better day the next day, probably ever. <laughs> so that's my big, uh, my biggest claim to using the oils is being balanced during the, during the day, having an incredible experience during making love to my husband and um, it lasting longer, it being more enjoyable, um, actually getting in the mood and being excited about it versus it being just something I have to do to make my husband happy. So that's me. Steph, do you want to share yours? Sure. It's pretty similar actually. Um, I, very similar actually, um, I honestly can say that I, you could talk to my best friend, um, and she would tell you that probably, you know, up until a couple of years ago when, when this all came out, when Lucy Levito was released and we started talking about it, that I just was, I just thought I was one of those people, those women who didn't like to have sex. Like, I just didn't enjoy it. I was mostly annoyed that I had to do it. You know, I love my, I love my husband. We've been together for years, but it just never was that, I guess you could say fun. Like, it was just, not, it was just part of my relationship that I felt like, okay, this is something we do. And I just, I thought it was crazy when a woman said she really loved it or enjoyed it. And, um, so this, 
really changed things for me. Partly, like Janessa said, it's really partly that I started to focus on my hormones, which we're going to talk about, but I started to use a lot of Endoflex and I started to use a lot of sclerescence. And that's one of the chunks of that's like one of the really important things that you can do, right? Because if we're, our hormones are out of whack, then we're not sending the right signal. Our brain's not sending the right signals to our body, to our, to the parts, the hormones that are supposed to be, you know, helping us want to be intimate with our partner. So there was that piece of it that came first before Lucy libido. And then after that sensation, sensation was a game changer for me as well, because I don't know if you guys know this, I'm sure Janessa will mention it, but our sense of smell is directly connected to our emotions and our memories. And so I have connected the smell of sensation oil to that part of my life. I don't, I don't wear sensation any other time of my life. And so between that and some of the topical stuff, which is a whole nother thing we're going to talk about that's really fun, um, just being able to put that in the diffuser or, you know, after – taking some time for myself, which is another part of it, is really preparing my mind mentally for it. Um, being able to you, you know, put some on my body or put it in the diffuser, it truly is like a signal that gets sent to your brain and it turns on the, like the green light, like, oh, okay, that's what we're doing now. And it makes such a huge difference for me. So it's, it's really empowering to have those tools that help me want to be there and want to be present and really enjoy it because then everybody enjoys it more. So it's been kind of a game changer for me as well to just really enjoy and embrace that part of it. And that being better has improved our marriage in all other areas of life. So it really is like Janessa said, like this information, we laugh about it. We joke about it, but it's life changing. <laughs> if you're in a relationship, it really is. Thank you for sharing. I probably would not have talked about that because I think I take that for granted, honestly. I think sometimes I do take my oils for granted that they're that amazing that yeah. it does signal my head to be yeah. like, oh, it's yeah. time. Yay. Yeah. So yeah, thank you for saying that. Um, okay. I mentioned it earlier about Lucy and her group of girlfriends and all of their research and how they compiled it into this one amazing book and this amazing Facebook group, which any of you can join, um, and put it all for us to have access to. But one of the most important things that she talks about, especially in the beginning of the book, is, is the importance of connecting um, with somebody else is really about loving yourself. And, and I say that I say that because we do need to honor ourselves and we do, you know, negative self-talk among women is far too rampant. Um, we put ourselves down. Um, I, I once asked a group of women to tell me one thing about them that was beautiful and they took a long time to come up with something. And some of their answers were, were things like, I am beautiful because my husband tells me that I'm beautiful. Um, it's a problem, you guys. It really is. And it, it shouldn't be because you, every single one of you, every single one of us is unique and has our own God-given talents and purpose. And um, we, we should stand tall and wear that proudly. And so what I want you to do is get a piece of paper ready, okay? Get a pen and a piece of paper because you're gonna get your own challenge tonight. I'm gonna talk a little bit more, but um, just go ahead and know, be primed. We're gonna have a piece of paper and a pen you're gonna need. Um, here's the thing, if you don't love yourself first and you don't know your value and you don't know that you are beautiful in your own unique way, it's really gonna be very difficult for you to share that love with someone else. Um, and I know that because I've struggled my whole life with knowing um, that I'm loved um, by God, by my husband. And it's just been in the last, I'd say, five years and through this journey of health and wellness that I truly believe and know how very loved I am. So I'm able to give it in such a different, such a different way. So, and Lucy will say it too, one of the most difficult tasks she's had is, is to ask women to write down 10 things about themselves that they find are beautiful about themselves. So I'm not gonna ask you to do 10, but I do want you to write one thing about yourself that you feel is beautiful. Um, it's really eye-opening 
right? It's really eye-opening to see that women um, don't love themselves first. Um, or, I mean, that's kind of questionable. You really, I don't know, I'm not going to get into it. But <laughs> I want you to write down um, something that you believe yourself to be beautiful. So I'm going to give you a few minutes to do that. And you know what? I'm going to grab a piece of paper and I'm going to do it too because I need a little refresher course. Okay? We'll be right back. I am beautiful because is how it's going to look, right? I am beautiful because Okay, I'm going to go ahead and share mine. And then if we have any brave souls, maybe two or three of you can share. Otherwise, I'm just going to have you lift up your paper to your screen so that we can all see it. And mine, I'll go first. Well, you're not going to be able to see it because I've got that thing in the background. So it says, I am beautiful because I am brave and do hard things. And all of you could probably write that. It's just a matter of knowing it, right? So I am brave and do hard things. Does anybody else want to share? Yeah, drop yours in the chat window if you want. Just raise it to your screen. I'll read mine. Thank you. I am beautiful because I almost always can tune into how others are feeling, meet them where they are, and better serve them. True. True, true. Anybody else? Karen says, I am beautiful because I am, oh, missed it. I am beautiful because I am compassionate and genuine. I am beautiful because I have a big heart, Sarah. Yes, you do. Alan Brock, I am beautiful because when I smile, it is in my eyes. I am genuine. Yes, I love that, you guys. I'm really glad I just read uh, Alan's comment that it was grace because I'm thinking, oh, whoa, I'm all of a sudden really uncomfortable saying the word orgasm. <laughs> okay, whoa, good. Lacey says, I am beautiful because I care and pray for others. It's one of the best gifts we can give people, isn't it? Yes, thank you. I love this, you guys. You know, these, these things that you're saying need to be reminders every single day because too often in this society, we are we're comparing ourselves and we are... Um, we don't know our worth. And so I want you to take what you've written down on that piece of paper, and I want you to put it somewhere where you can see it every single day, whether it's on your refrigerator or your bathroom mirror, um, even in your car, you can put it on a little sticky note, but you um, remind yourself every single day, okay? Let's see, um, Lacey, oh, meltdown mode. Oh, I get it, sister. Okay, it's okay. Um, Okay. Anybody else want to share before we move on?
Lucinda, is that right? Lucinda, I am beautiful because I am loyal and honest. That is a beautiful quality. Loyalty is huge for me, of course, and honesty too. Honesty is amazing. When you're thinking about things that make you beautiful, you can think about things that you're good at. You know, like I am beautiful because I am a great cook. That's not me, but that could be one of the reasons that you're beautiful. Um, things that other people admire about you, you know? Okay, but you guys get the point, right? Right? It's important, really important to know your value and your worth and to know um, that you're beautiful for a lot of reasons. Fearfully and wonderfully made, yeah? Okay. All right, so we're gonna just roll right into how to use oils, aphrodisiac oils, okay? So a couple things. You're gonna diffuse them just like you do your regular oils. You're gonna use them topically just like you do your other oils. Yes, you can use them internally and we can talk about Lucy's Perky Pill for any of you who wanna help your husband out in that department. There is an internal um, capsule that you can make. He does not have to um, go to the doctor and get a little blue pill. Um, and a couple of, uh, you know, not warnings, but things you don't want to do. Um, you know, you don't want to get oils in your eyes ever, right? So you don't want to get oils in the snake eye. Does that make sense? Does everybody know what I mean? So. We can get oils on the shaft, but we're not gonna get them in the eye. Make sense? Okay, so that's pretty um, much my, my biggest warning there. Um, for us ladies, um, uh, naturally made lubricants with our essential oils and coconut oil are amazing. We have uh, this one here that I wanna show you. Oh gosh. So this is the bad part about my, um, this says KR pregame. My husband's name is Kevin Rayner, KR. This is his pregame, okay? So that's all of his oils in one, um, one mix in a little tincture um, that he rubs on his thighs and my thighs, um, but never in the snake eye, right? Okay, so moving on. Um, one thing that I really like to remind everybody to do is diffuse the mood, okay? That diffuser should be going 20 to 30 minutes before go time, and so should your, um, your inner thigh rollers or your inner thigh massage oils um, before you even start to get going. And then uh, doing it again as you progress. You know how we say the more you oil, the better. Well, it rings really true for bedroom time, too. So don't forget that. Um, Let me look at my notes here. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, let's roll into Taming the Crazies during the day. Steph, this is one of the things that I know that you and I are both well-versed on. Um, for me, as I age, I just turned 43. It is a just naturally evolving listening to my body, but this is where we're going to talk about um, hormones. Okay, we're going to talk about hormones, and hopefully between Steph and I, we can give you some really good nuggets about the importance of balancing your hormones and also your stress levels. Okay, you guys, you are never, ever going to be the partner that lays down at night with your, with your spouse and is in blissful mode if your brain is going a mile a minute stressing out about your to-do list. Okay. So some of your basics, if you're just joining Young Living, you know that you have stress away, you have valor, you have peace and calming, you have frankincense, you have lavender. Use those bad boys to tame your stress and tame your crazies during the day. Okay. Always. You should always be doing that. Um, and then you can um, work on your hormones separately. All right. So first thing I want to talk about is this bad boy. It's called Progescence Plus. Can you, can I get some, uh, for people who are on Progescence Plus, 
Uh-huh. Yeah, Sarah, I see you raising the roof. That's probably how you got yourself a baby, girl. Um, I know that's how I got a baby because my body wanted to have a baby, so it was perfect. Um, oh, look, Sarah says, perky pill is amazing. Baby is there. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're no stranger to the perky pill. I love it. Um, but progestins plus is, um, Steph, what's the percentage of women who it's been proven who are like 80% of women are deficient in yeah. progesterone? I don't have the stat off the top of my head, but it's oh. pretty high. Um, yeah, I think, I think it's in our, our environment, our food that we're eating, everything's, everything's just out of whack in our bodies. Even when we do the best we can sometimes, it's just, you know, when we're surrounded by toxic chemicals, which we all are, no matter how hard we try, I mean, we can do better, but you're still exposed to them every time you leave your house. Um, it just messes with everything. So I think it's a pretty significant, I'll look in here. I don't, I'll drop in the comments if she has a number, but it's pretty high. Yeah, pretty high. And they've tied uh, miscarriage to lack of progesterone. That's a really high number too. So if you are sharing Young Living and you are empowering women and you come across a woman who's sharing her heart and she is suffering from previous miscarriages, one of the best things that you can do is offer her Progestance Plus, okay? Progestance Plus is, it, sell, it supports healthy progesterone levels in the body and it makes you feel more calm. It makes you... Um, it helps with your sexual appetite. It helps you sleep better. Um, menopausal women are reporting that it helps them with their hot flashes. Um, I mean, the list goes on and on. If you're in Flourish, there should be a, a document in the file section from Dr. Purser, and you can read an FAQ all about Progestance Plus. Um, we do caution that people who are on any kind of synthetic birth control do not use Progestance Plus, but it is one of those oils that it's a game changer, okay? Um, just historically, progesterone levels in people have, have dropped. So it may be due to past synthetic hormones. It may be due to synth synthetic hormones in meat, in food, body care products, um, elevated levels of cortisol, which is, this is where I talk to you about this supplement. Ew. Cortistop. Does anybody know about Cortistop? Okay. I love, I love Cortistop. I realized that my cortisol levels were skyrocketing during my PMS and my um, period. And I introduced Cortistop and it's changed everything. I went from being angry during PMS to being my good old crying Janessa self because I just was able to just to be myself instead of being so stressed out and crazy all the time. So um, the stress hormone is a big is a big deal. And that's why I'm saying you've got to tame those crazies because that will get in the way of everything. Cortisol is a great supplement to help you do that. Um, but also your cortisol levels will go up when your progesterone level is too low. You know, it's always like yin and yang, right? If, you're, if your adrenals are low, your thyroid is probably, it's kind of always connected, right? So, um, but that's the two connections with cortisol and progesterone. So if you're struggling, try Progestins Plus, can't hurt. Um, let's see, do you wanna get into details about how it works with your progesterone levels dropping right before and during your menstrual cycle? Cause we can do that, we can post, what do you think, Steph? Maybe, do you have like a few sentences? I don't know. I think it's really good info that no one else teaches us <laughs> as women. Yeah, it's true. Okay. So progesterone levels drop right before and during your menstrual cycle. Okay. So all the fluc although the fluctuation is normal, when it drops too low, it may cause irritability, headaches, and emotional distress. So let me ask you this. When you are getting your, when you have PMS, I always thought every woman had PMS. Certainly every woman has PMS. And then I have this friend, she's been one of my best friends for like seven years. She, she doesn't get PMS. I'm like, oh my gosh, you're so lucky. Um, but I do, I've suffered my whole life, but it's not as bad anymore because I use Progestins Plus, okay? So Progestins Plus is a great way to keep your body balanced and you can apply the serum 
on your carotid artery. So you can do it right here. So that is what the right side of my throat. Okay. You can do it on your, um, your, your wrists. Well, some say wrist, but I just do it on my, my whole forearm. And another place that a lot of women like to put it is on the inside of their um, ankles, the inside of their ankles or foot area, that whole area. And I do it on both just because, I mean, one side, I think it's the right side is connected to your um, reproductive organs, but I do it on both just because I do. <laughs> um, okay, so let's see. Lady Scleral, do you have Lady Scleral to show? I don't know if I do. Lady Scleral is another one of those oils that's beautiful and purple and pink. I don't have and it's another fan. Oh, you don't Sorry. have it? I don't have the bottle, no. I have Sclerescence. So. Yeah. So Sclerescence and Lady Scleral are both other really great oils um, for keeping our bodies and our minds cool and chill. So Lady Scleral contains oils that support healthy estrogen levels, which tend to drop as we age and especially during perimenopause. So for me specifically, at my age and having three babies back to back in my late, late, uh, mid to late 30s, I for sure can see that my estrogen levels are dropping. So I use copious amounts of um, clary sage. Mm. Clary sage, there it is, it's beautiful purple. Clary sage, sclerescence, and lady scleral. I just have them all and I just use them all. Um, I find that I also drop, my, um, my estrogen levels also drop during PMS. My hormones, I feel, just plummet. So I use a lot of progestins plus, and I use a lot of the estrogen oils too because um, I can tell. This is the way I can tell. Do you, does anybody ever get a case of the dropsies where you pick something up and then you can't hold it in your hands, you just drop it during your PMS cycle? If you've ever experienced that, you have low estrogen, almost, I'm almost positive. Um, okay, so phytoestrogens such as those found in clary sage are bioavailable in the body and have not been shown to raise the risk of diseases that are common with synthetic estrogens, okay? I said it in a post not that long ago, a comment. It's really important that you guys remember this. Synthetic hormones equals bad. Fact. You, you dig down the rabbit hole as far as you want to go. It is a fact. They are bad. Natural hormones, such as wild yams, like progestins plus, good. Anything that's from a plant, from nature, that's in its pure and most natural form, just the way God intended, that Gary brought to us, good, equals good. Okay, so um, back what Steph was saying about there just being so many toxins in our environment and so many endo endocrine disruptors, it's no wonder that one in six women suffer from infertility. Did you guys know that places like Facebook and Google and I think they said LinkedIn, like all those big players, Twitter, did you know part of their package when they offer people a job includes fertility treatment? because that's how many people struggle with infertility now. In 2020, one in six couples will suffer from infertility. To me, it's just crazy. It does not have to be that way. So speaking of endocrine disruptors, um, number one, it's really important to keep your liver healthy. Your liver is your body's British system, but you can also use Endoflex. Here's it, Endoflex is great to just balance your overall endocrine system. That, that everybody should be on that. Everybody has an endocrine system. I bet you anything Stephanie Plummer's toddler is on Endoflex every day. Yeah, she got a thumbs up. I try, but I have too many kids. I just, my gosh, they all need oils for something else. Anyways, throw a roller on your Endoflex and um, you know, go around and oil everybody. <laughs> uh, I love that oil. All right, so, um, let's talk a little bit more about Endoflex. Okay, it's going to strengthen and flexes your endocrine system. And it's important because the endocrine system tells your hormones what to do and when. So it really needs to be functioning properly. Um, Endoflex Vitality, you know the Vitality line is all for internal consumption. It's gonna support your adrenals, the thyroid, the pituitary, and certain reproductive organs. 
Why am I not taking Endoflex Vitality internally? I think I need to do that. Um, Endoflex can be applied topically over the thyroid, behind the ears, and on the Vitaflex points, but I also put it on the back of my neck too. So I do the front of my neck, the back of my neck. Um, you can do it behind your ears and then your Vitaflex points, which are in your um, essential oil pocket reference guide. Okay. Here's another one that I love. It is called Dragon Time. And there's actually a book that Steph recommends, and I do too. It's called Taming the Dragon Within. Can you guys see it on her screen? Um, if you or anyone that you know or love is struggling with hormonal imbalance, that's a great starter book. Um, you can read it. It's a quick, easy read. It has some graphics in it um, as a starting point. And then remember, you're, never, you're not going to get it right the first time. You're going to have to fine tune it, listen to your body, and go with what you're feeling and what your body needs. Um, but that's a great starting point. Dragon Time, the oil, saving marriages all over the world. <laughs> um, if you're like me and you suffer from PMS, this is a great one to start applying. Actually, my husband has a timer in his phone, and a week before my cycle, he says, time to start your Dragon Time. Um, but it was made especially for that time of the month. So I do it during PMS and I do it during my cycle, even though I don't have um, any cramps or anything anymore. But it contains blue yarrow, which is very soothing, and jasmine, which um, is very comforting and soothing during menstruation, which is probably why I don't have any discomfort. Marjoram is also in there and it's known to soothe constricted muscles. Get that part? Constricted muscles. And lavender is relaxing and calming to the mind. So um, I just, I'm so grateful for all the work Gary did to go before us and put those oils together for women. He loved women so much, didn't he? Um, so try it over your abdomen. I see some people saying that they put it on their forearms. I mean, do wherever makes you happy. But I think right over your abdomen, where your lady parts are, is probably a great place to put Dragon Time. That's where I put it. And I don't dare a drop. I do like four drops because <laughs> I just want to make, make it the best week ever. Um, you can also do an Epsom salt bath if you're really suffering and you're really trying to get things worked out. Put, uh, put your oils in a one cup of Epsom salt and maybe a little baking soda and throw it in your and relax. Um, also teenagers. You guys got teenagers? They need dragon time. Uh, okay. We talked a little bit, did we talk a little bit about sclerescence, but let me go into a little more detail about sclerescence. I want to talk to you about the Vitality one. You can take that one internally also, um, and it's just supports overall healthy regular reproductive system. So uh, it's also one that is known to support regular ovulation. And so if you're in the camp where you or someone that you love or know is trying to conceive, Regular ovulation is a thing, it's really important, so that might be one to consider. Okay, let's move on to Ilang Ilang. You guys know that Ilang Ilang is one of the most beautiful, most precious oils. And, um, oh no, hold on, I can go through it. I'm sorry, I messed something up. It's so precious. Steph, do you have anything you wanna say or add about anything? Okay. Um, isn't it free this month? Isn't Ilong Ilong free this month? Ooh, that's when I wish that I could get all of my things in the U.S. because, oh, I'll probably do an order for the U.S. anyways, even if I can't get it till April because free Ilong Ilong. All right, this oil is incredible. Um, it used to be used uh, long ago to scatter on newlywed couples beds on their wedding night because it just created such a sense of romance and intimacy. Um, it's been viewed as a romantic flower and has an alluring scent. But let me tell you, when we talk about setting the mood in our diffusers, you got to get the Elong Elong in there with the orange EO, which I think is totally underrated. Everyone should be using orange essential oil all the time because it's, it's like a workhorse. Um, that makes the most beautiful combination. And I don't know how anybody could be next to a diffuser with Elong Elong and orange and not be happy. It's so beautiful together. Um, so definitely pair that. It also goes really well with Cypress. 
And if you like the oil grounding and you have grounding, which is an exceptional emotionally um, focused oil, that goes really, really nicely with it too. Um, you can apply, I like to wear Ylang Ylang as a perfume. Oh, Karen, what is so funny over there? You might need to share with me. <laughs> uh, and I didn't even say the word orgasm. Um, so you can put Ylang Ylang as a perfume over your heart, behind the ears. It's beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so let's talk next about Valor. I know all my people are Valor fans because I know that I know that you already all know about this oil. I haven't taught a class in person or on a Zoom in so long that I had to use like 15 drops of this before coming on here. And I think I'm doing okay. I love this oil. I love this oil. But if Valor is meant to make you strong and brave and courageous, don't you think it's going to be able to uh, help you ditch some of those mental blocks before you hit the sheets? It is. It's going to help your man. It's going to help you. It's, it's, why do you think they make Valor soap for men? Like, it's just an amazing oil. And you know, we're not the only ones who sometimes can have a hard time in the bedroom, right? Men come into the bedroom with stress and their mind all over the place also. So it's a really huge gift that you can give to your, your spouse, your significant other too oil them up too. Like here, baby, have some valor, especially because it's such a mm, like valiant valor. I love it. I love it. So it really is specifically designed to loosen emotional blocks. It stimula stimulates the limbic system of the brain in such a way that helps it to relax and to promote feelings of confidence and courage. It's like a don't worry oil. Um, so why we put it on kids when they go to the dentist and their first day of school. And when we have job interviews, like, don't worry, be happy. So don't worry, be happy, hit the sheets, right? So let's see, Lucy recommends that you do use this oil during the day. That's what I meant by taming the crazies during the day so that you can be ready because there's just not a switch, right? There's no switch. You can't just be like, oh, it's been crazy with the kids or at work all day long and now I'm gonna hit the switch and all of a sudden I'm gonna be a romantic genius. That's not the way it works. So use Valor during the day um, to help calm the crazies and feel less drained and just have more energy. And if you guys are suffering from not having enough energy, we can help you with that too because there's a lot of oils that you can do. So I love this one on my wrists. Um, behind my ears, on my shoulders is a really beautiful place to put it because it's like your only your own little diffuser. Um, I put it on my diffuser earrings uh, so that I can diffuse all day. And I used to wear necklaces more before Rylan was born, and I would put it in my diffuser necklace. Um, I love putting Valor in the diffuser with grapefruit. I don't know if you've ever done that combo, but holy smokes, that's a really nice one. So. Let's go with next oil up. We're going to talk about orange essential oil. I already said a little bit about it. Orange is underrated. Everybody should have a bottle of orange on hands at all time. It helps white your teeth. It helps make you happy. It smells delicious in the diffuser with so many things. It's just that scent that is so, so great. But it is like it's like a drop of happiness in a bottle. So um, this says, my notes, Lucy notes, say for adults, this oil opens the sacral chakra near the pelvic area. I don't know anything about ch chakras. I'm not really interested in knowing anything about chakras, but maybe you do know something and you want to know more. Um, it says that this chakra is associated with pleasure, creativity, and sensuality. Uh, orange is an aphrodisiac oil that helps you let go of your grown-up problems and embrace sexuality and fun. We have also, in the past, um, put orange essential oil in brownies and had brownies, like a brownie dessert with a glass of wine before our romantic night. So there's definitely something to orange being an aphrodisiac, okay? So um, get some orange. All right, next oil up we're going to talk about is cypress. Cypress, I love cypress. I love cypress. It's another workhorse. I don't know if you can see that, but cypress. This is one of Lucy's all time Hall of Fame favorites, and it is one of Janessa's too. Steph, are you on board with cypress? Yeah, guys, 
Cypress supports healthy circulation. Do you know what that means? Healthy circulation? Things need to circulate very well. And if you want a certain specific firework show at the end of your parade, you will use Cypress. It's priced really well for a 15 milliliter bottle. And it is part of, it's part of Kevin Rayner's pregame. It's part of the massage oil. And uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you the name of this one, but it's part of this one too. It's part of all of our little sexy time oils because it is so good. Cypress, Cypress, Cypress. Just think, Cypress, circulation, fireworks. Enough said. You can research it when you buy the book. All right, so do, 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 do. the next oil, I think I kind of touched on it because it was part of my story, is sensation. And sensation's part of that Valentine's Day bundle which I'm very tempted to get to because that's a good deal. But the Sensation Lotion, I love. The Sensation Massage Oil, the Sensation Essential Oil, and is there something else in there? In that bundle, that Valentine's Day bundle? Um, this oil is sensational. It's beautiful. Oh, it's so beautiful. And it really wraps up everything that we're talking about here. Um, in one little bottle, okay? Uh, da, 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 it starts with an S, that's funny. It was made to be worn and used between him and her. That was why Gary made it, as a oil for intimacy. So Lucy, as well as I, recommend diffusing it. I love it with orange, again. Um, but also as a, a warm-up lube, like during your foreplay. It is one of my favorites for um, the inner thigh. Like I've made a lot of inner thigh rollers in the last five years, but still my go-to that I will grab before, um, before go time is I'm always putting sensation all over my body. I put it in between my breasts, I put it between, behind my ears, I put it behind my neck, um, in the folds of my elbows, I just put it everywhere. But I super, super concentrate on that thigh area because, and Cypress too, because I want to increase circulation, right? So um, Sensation Massage Oil is beautiful. Um, we do a lot of massaging in our romantic time together because nothing, there's nothing that replaces um, the intimacy of just non-sexual touch. So just rubbing each other's backs, rubbing each other's feet is so intimate for us. And we love Sensation Massage Oil. It smells amazing. So, um, <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to talk about the love button. I'll save that for another night. No, I'm going to talk about the love button. No, I can't. I'm not ready. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I need some more valor to talk about the love button. Do you want to talk about the love button stuff? Uh, no, I want you to talk about the love button. Oh my button. God. I'm going to do Okay. They need, the people need to know. There's all the children left the room, right? <laughs> Except Juna, she's probably asleep. asleep. I know, let me get, let me see what, what um, Lucy has to say about the love button and then it won't be so embarrassing for me. Okay, and also I'm gonna show the, I'm gonna show that graphic really quick with the inner thigh. Oh like, yes, please any of the like effervescent, effervescent oils so purification is a great one melrose is a great one sensation is a great one directly your location will make your mind go okay okay that's what we're doing <laughs> got it okay wait how do i where's my okay screen share okay so this is oh, where did it go <clears throat> okay so this is can you guys see this this is what janessa was talking about so when you're using like cypress or sensation or whatever your ch choice of oil is on the inner thighs this right here is a really good location and i found like if you're gonna like shower, because that's part of it too, it's like mentally prepare yourself, right? Like alone a little bit first. So if you put circular cypress on first here, and then 
take your shower and then your sensation on your on your love button it really is like okay let's go i'm good so this is that area right here that she's talking about very scientific <laughs> all right hold on let me get out of this okay you're so high tech i'm so impressed oh thanks <laughs> okay okay we're gonna talk about the love button okay um, let's see. So this is on page 67 of the book, and it basically talks about listening to numerous women who want help finishing their nights in awe and wonder. I've learned that so many women struggle to climax. I was one of them. It does not come with the same ease as it does in their manly other half. Well, I have a secret. Men and women work differently in the bedroom. Surprise, surprise. We're going to jump out of the sheets and into our biology books for just a moment. Time for my cat eye reading glasses. When a young fetus is developing, it has unisex genitalia with navel endings that are exactly the same for boys and girls. This ambiguous genitalia looks like a little bud or bump with a small opening underneath. Okay, and then it just goes on. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, this is called the love button. Okay, you can read more all about it. It's very scientific. Um, the, ma the majority of pleasurable navel endings for both females and males stem from this same little bump. These navel endings are what are responsible for creating the waves of pleasure and the rush of oxytocin that flood our bodies during climax. Why is this important? Well, many, many women struggle with climax. For men, it is simple. Their navel endings are at the tip of their soldier. And um, let's see, where did I go? And it's pretty impossible not to stimulate them when storming the beach. For women, it's a little more complicated. Numerous studies have shown that about 80% of women are unable to climax with intercourse alone. And we don't have to be ashamed of that. We don't. That's why foreplay is super important, right? Only 20% of women receive adequate stimulation with penetration in order to consistently climax without manual stimulation. And while there are navel endings inside us, which do make love making enjoyable, I think we call that the G-spot, the majority of those that finish the deed are outside the cave. That, you get that, right? You picking up what I'm putting down outside the cave? So in a group of 10,000, that means that 8,000 women need some type of love button massage to finish the night totally and feel totally and completely satisfied. Don't you feel better knowing that you're not alone? I sure did. So it has nothing to do with anything about your man soldier, how tall he salutes, nothing like that, but it has to do with just you and who you are as a woman. So our love buttons are equal to his soldier in terms of what they do. They need friction to make them happy. And only a few of us happen to get enough love button massages movement through penetration. So you get the point, right? You get the point? I know that love button lubes have changed my life in the bedroom. It makes me so happy. It makes me climb the wall. It makes me want to laugh and cry all at the same time when I am so, my husband wants to please me so much and he has so, he made all of those love button lubes, you guys. I didn't make them. He got out the, the little, what's it called? Little, you know, he, God, I'm losing my brain. He labeled them. He, he like, the love button massage is a thing that if your, your spouse doesn't know how to do, you must teach him. You must teach him and you must have the love button uh, lubes to do it. So um, I'm done with love button. <laughs> okay, let's talk about oils for men. Um, somebody said something. Oh, we just had somebody's husband join the group and said, how, where should he start? Well, he should start with that Valentine's Day bundle for men. It has Mr. in it, uh, Goldenrod. Eh, Goldenrod. Oh my gosh. You guys, this oil doubles right now in my family. It's a bedroom oil for me and my husband, and I'm putting it on the boys' chests for their cough. Who knew? Um, but it's working really good for that too. Um, but oils for men, 
just like I said, men have the same stuff that men have hormones too. So let's help our men. Um, the first one I'm going to talk about is Mr. It helps the prostate to function optimally, which is a big part of his libido, huge, and his performance. So it also supports healthy testosterone levels, which men do need in order to be in the bedroom. Okay. So you can wear it on his Vitaflex points, on his ankles, over the abdomen, or on his wrists. Obviously, just the fact that a man will wear his oils at all, just wherever is my opinion. Um, 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 okay. Does anybody know about Idaho blue spruce? I have to find a graphic really quick that is going, I'm going to send it to Steph and see if she can put it on her, do that screen sharing again. I don't know if you guys have seen this one, but it is hysterical. Hmm. Idaho blue spruce is, uh, probably mine, Kevin's, and Lucy's most favorite oil for men. And it supports healthy testosterone levels. And it says, Lucy likes to tease that this oil helps your man's soldier to stand at attention. You get that play on where it's stand at attention. It won't be unmanageable, so don't worry about that. It's not forceful, but it does work to support the body in this particular way. So try on the Vitaflex points over the abdomen or as an inner thigh roller potion or a love loop, okay? So uh, it's like, a, it's in a soldier serum in the book. You can see it and we are gonna, sh I'm gonna also share some um, recipes with you, graphics. Um, let's see. Okay, back to goldenrod. Goldenrod is from a flowering plant. It was found to improve circulation and aid the urinary tract. It was also found to help with deflated hoses and firmness of, okay, that male body part we've come to realize and recognize as the soldier, okay? It helps deflated hoses and firmness, golden rod. All right, so it can be hard to come by. So it blooms in the fall, usually in September, and it must be harvested that month for the entire year. We have been in great goldenrod depressions before, absolutely. So when you see goldenrod is available and you like to have sex and soldiers that stand at attention and are nice and firm, you better grab yourself some goldenrod. Um, I'm not sure who named it that, but kind of has a great sense of humor because of the firmness and vitality of it all. But um, that's definitely an oil for him that you do not want to miss. Okay, let's talk about nutmeg. This actually is also one of my husband's favorite oils. He loves, loves nutmeg. Um, this is a blood pumping must have for your mister. It can be used on ladies too, um, but we've seen the best results using it for the guys. Emotionally, it's stimulating energy and physically it increases circulation. So you guys are getting the picture here on all these oils that we're going over, right? Cypress, goldenrod, um, nutmeg. It's increasing circulation. So simply put, this oil is the king of healthy vasodilation. Vasodilation. Vaso means veins. Dilation. I don't think I need to say anymore. You guys get the picture. Okay, it especially needs to be diluted. Okay, you especially need to dilute it because it's a hot oil. Um, capsules, I think, are probably the best way to do it. I think Kevin does it in capsules. I don't think it's in any of our lubes because it's just maybe he would do one drop in a whole bottle of lube, but um, just make sure you're diluting it or you're putting it in a capsule and you do it the evening of the big game. Okay, and then follow the directions on the label. There's something out there in the drum. Ooh, I'm gonna pretend like I didn't hear that. Okay, um, okay, there is another oil called Hong Kwai. Do you guys know that one? You ever heard of that oil? Talia, do you use that one? Tell me about it. I don't, I have it, but I don't really use it. So I would love to hear from anybody else who knows anything about this oil. It's similar to, it's kind of a blend between valor and frankincense. That's, I think that's how I see it. Like it's, it's confidence, but it's soothing and has a deeper tone to it. So I, I think of it as like a 
I mean, it doesn't smell like valor at all, but it, it does that for me, like the confidence and, and the calming. That's a great combo. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> okay. And then do you use it in the bedroom or is it a daytime oil for you, the Tame the Crazies kind of oil? Yeah, it's it's this daytime, you know, one of the ones I'll go to if I'm needing that calm, calm stuff. I don't need to be calm in the bedroom. That's not the opposite. No, that's not the purpose. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's not the purpose. Uh, okay. Well, you're right, I think, about the valor part because Hong Kwai is often called confidence in a bottle. And it says it has the highest, oh, sequ no, sequestropine, is that right? Of any of the aphrodisiac oils. And it says it's like inhaling liquid confidence. I don't know how it smells, but if it's got that um, sort of earthy, like, arbor like tone i'm sure it smells great i have a whole bottle i never go for it isn't that so funny i'm gonna have to try it now um it comes from a cypress species that grows in taiwan and it's lucy's favorite for the man so i guess we gotta use it because it's lucy's favorite and it's in a lot of her love potions and the love lubes soldier serum it's in the soldier serum and it also can be used on the inner thighs and below the navel Okay, we saved the best for last. Who loves their shoe tran man? Anyone? Uh-huh. Uh, we got a few. We got a few of you loving your shoe tran man. Uh-huh. You know, you can't get that. You cannot get them to stop using it once they start, can you? It's like, I'm almost done a shoe tran. I got to order my shoe tran. Oh, I want the shoe tran this. And, and now there's a whole line of shoe tran products for our men, which how wonderful that we also have options for the men that we love, that they don't have to be um, succumb to toxins, that Young Living has a line of products out for our guys too, the Shoe Tran line. Um, I love the smell of it. It is, it turns me on big time. Like he gets out of the shower and he puts on Shoe Tran and I'm like, it's only four o'clock because sometimes he doesn't shower till after we're done sweating from the day of living in the jungle. Um, and it's so good. Oh man, I just love, 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 love the smell of shoe trim. It was formulated for the man to wear to help turn on the lady. So it's no wonder that that works for me really well. Uh, it says it's like a bottle of sweet smelling pheromones wafting into the hidden parts of your brain, <laughs> stimulating your deepest imagination. And that sounds so cheesy when I read it, but let me tell you, I can smell that man and hug him and give him a kiss. And I go, my brain goes to boom, boom room. I'm like, Oh mm, yeah. Oh, so if you need that too, like if you need to be more turned on by your husband, gift him a bottle of shoe tramp this Valentine's day. And I guarantee you it is, you will just be so drawn to that to his to his smell so it works with the man's unique chemistry to make him smell amazing and desirable and it can be mixed with others like cedar wood and vetiver i think idaho blue spruce it smells really good with i think kevin does that sometimes i think nathan bishop does that sometimes um oh what does it say it says it can be loaded with idaho blue spruce to help support healthy testosterone levels making this bad boy a must-have in your oil collection thank god for notes i really love notes um do you guys have questions? I haven't looked at any of the comments. I am not, I can't, I'll get to like going everywhere. What do we have here? Steph, come on in and, and uh, I think we're good in the comments. Um, we've just been chatting and laughing over here. Not at oh. you, but about the love button. Um, okay, so wait, Talia says purification or Melrose on the love button. Mm -hmm. And I got to say, Purification and Melrose was the first one, the first two that I was made aware of that when you mix those two together, they were really great. Um, but they're not very, I'm not drawn to them. Like my sense of smell in my limbic system isn't like, oh, that's so, mm -hmm. ah, you know? So do you mix it with something else? Do you just not care because it's just so amazing? <laughs> it doesn't smell it. <laughs> Well, somebody might have to at some point, like your <laughs> husband. <laughs> okay, so Dish, take that microphone <laughs> off me and dish to me more about this purification in Melrose. I gotta know. <laughs> um, 
Lacey wants to know where goldenrod is applied. Oh, goldenrod. Um, the wrists, the abdomen, and you could do behind the ears too if you wanted to. Um, I'm not going to confirm nor deny that we don't dilute it and put it right on the shaft. Not close to the snake eye, but on the top of the shaft for sure. For my pleasure, for longer, right? Mm -hmm. You guys are just knowing everything. When you see my husband at Rayleigh's in two months, please do not laugh. You're gonna know all his secrets. You'll be like, oh, I know all your secrets. <laughs> um, okay, what does, oh, Stephanie says, I'm using Mr. on my nine-year-old son to support his body because I can see his hormones starting to change. Absolutely, good job, mama. My, my daughter is also nine, and uh, she does endoflex and dragon time, actually. Even though I know she's not close to getting her period yet, um, I still can see her getting <laughs> a little bit prickly. And I'm like, did you put your endoflex and your dragon time on yet today? <laughs> so it's important to even support our young, our young ones and their hormones. Where is Golden Run Applied? I'm not smelling it. I know he does not care. <laughs> Sharani, yes, that is the clarification. The love button is the clitoris. You got it. And I just said it out loud and I feel free. Oh yeah, <laughs> you got it, okay. Yeah, freedom! Oh, I'm so glad you were able to join us tonight, Sharani. Thank you so much for coming in. Did you learn anything? I hope so. Um, did we cover all the things we wanted to cover, Steph? I think so. Yeah, you guys definitely get the, get yourself a copy. It's a very small book, but it's a really handy book. It has mm -hmm. a lot of cool info. Mm -hmm. We just kind of like graze the surface. Yeah. There's a lot of details in there. Yes, a lot more than we could cover in the Zoom. Um, and the cool thing about it too is once you're armed and dangerous, then you get to go and share it with your girlfriends. And I can tell you guys that one of the most fun things I've done while sharing oils is the Lucy class. I remember being like pretty pregnant with Rylan and doing a class with um, some of my girls and every day, you know, they were all having margaritas and we were eating all kinds of yummy food and we sat around and we made thigh rollers and we had the best time. We laughed. We didn't, you know, we said the word clitoris and weren't ashamed of it. Like it was just so fun. So if you, you know, if you are in the same um, camp as I am, that just, it's just really important. Like marriage and intimacy is really important. And I think there are more people who struggle with it, who don't say anything and don't, don't admit it. And so, um, Maybe this, maybe if we're struggling or we've struggled in the past, our girlfriends are struggling too. And it might be a wonderful way to connect with other people. And I mean, could you imagine if, if somebody, if you, if each one of you went out and shared Lucy with four people and their marriages and their relationships changed and their sex life improved so immensely that what happened to my marriage and what happened to Steph's marriage um, could happen in communities. Um, let's just be real. Lots of marriages end a lot of the time. And like Steph said, she's changed her marriage completely and it did mine too. So, um, share this information. It's, it's crucial. It's, it's beautiful. It's like brilliant. So go out and share that with somebody that you love and, and see if that will help somebody else. And so, um, I don't know, Steph, how do you want to do it? Do you want to post some of the recipes that I have? I mean, you guys should definitely buy the book. You should look at those Valentine's Day specials. Um, but I want to share some of the graphics I have with you. Should maybe I just share them in that, the post in Flourish? Yeah, we can just with, put them in the comments. And um, Lacey's on here, and so I'll make sure she gets them for her team. And then if you're on Carolyn's team, I'll make sure you guys get them as well. So. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, there's lots of 
um, diffuser blends in the book. There's lube recipes, there's inner thigh potions, there's edible blends, which has never been, never ventured into that, but you know, there's all kinds of fun things in here. So yeah, let's do it. Hey. All right. Awesome. Okay, you guys, it's been a pleasure. Thank